Thank you for joining us on this video, Impact the Online Campus with the new UPortal 4. Let us start by introducing our guide, Andrew Wills. Drew joined Unicon as a software architect in 2001. He's a passionate open source advocate and commits to several open source projects, including UPortal. Drew is an experienced technology consultant in higher education and has worked with many institutions. We will now turn it over to Drew. Hey, thanks. This is Drew. Welcome to our webinar. So we have a lot of information for you. We know that many of you use uPortal already and, and maybe are familiar with Unicon already, but some of you are not. And so we wanted really to have uh, something for everyone. And, and in that light, we're going to start at sort of a very high level with uPortal. So really, what is uPortal? Well, uPortal is an enterprise information portal, or it's often called a horizontal portal. Uh, and its goal, what it allows you to do, is tame uh, the landscape of, of complex, heterogeneous services available on campus and present them to users, you know, members of your communities in, in an organized and sensible fashion. The portal is able to present uh, administrator-assigned content that includes the most timely and relevant services and notices and so forth, as well as it allows users to personalize their experience and uh, choose content that they feel is most appropriate for them. Uh, and here, this slide uh, it illustrates what I'm trying to describe by the term uh, heterogeneous mismatch of uh, services. You know, on, on a typical campus, uh, all of these things and probably a hundred more are services or, or data or uh, information that, that needs to be available for members of your community. And hunting it down uh, across uh, dozens of campus websites and so forth is a little intimidating. An EIP enterprise information portal allows you to aggregate this content and present it to users in an organized and sensible fashion. So uh, that's that's a little bit about the class of tool uh, that uPortal is. Here is a little bit about uPortal specifically. Well, what is uPortal? Well, uPortal is certainly a leader. It's the only portal framework created by and for higher education. It is entirely open source, royalty free, as well as based upon open standards and open architecture. There are hundreds of uh, deployments, dozens of committers, over 10 years of project maturity. So the uPortal software where platform is a compelling choice for an EIP. But in addition to that, uPortal is really more than just the software uh, that, that it runs, the software that it comes with. uPortal is really about the community and online resource that are a part of the whole experience. There is an up-to-date, constantly maintained, comprehensive online manual, friendly and responsive email lists for platform developers, for implementers, for portlet developers. There is an IRC channel uh, that uh, often has some of the leading uh, platform developers in it. Uh, that can answer questions or, or help you with your portal tasks and challenges. Uh, there's a very active uh, wiki platform and ticket tracking systems. You can see near daily activity where people you know, submit feature requests or maybe report on progress uh, for a development effort uh, within your portal or the uh, JSIC portlets that might go into your portal. And, and then there are two conferences a year that include just a tremendous amount of uh, uPortal content. The uh, JSIG Spring Summer Conference, which is a, a traditional conference, and then in the fall we typically do an unconference, which is very untraditional, but uh, nevertheless very compelling, very interesting. I've been to a bunch of them. I recommend them highly. And then another strength, something else that I think is just a tremendous strength of the ePortal platform is the uh, comprehensive suite of, of services and support available uh, from Unicon, which is, is really nice to have uh, in the context of an open source platform. Uh, so like I said, uh, Unicon is prepared to help ePortal implementers really across the board in a comprehensive way, you know, whatever your needs are. But in particular, maybe when it comes time to migrate version or maybe you want to sign up for commercial support or maybe branding and skinning. Be sure to watch the other videos in this playlist to see ePortal in action. We will show uPortal 4's authentication with JSIC Central Authentication Service, the personalization interface, admin portlets, and end with JSIC U Mobile.